Hello, this is designing a learning system. In the previous class, we have understood how to play checkers game. Here we will design about learning system to build the checkers game. Now, different type of steps that comes across in designing the learning system. Choosing the training experience, choosing the representation for the target system, choosing the representation for the target function, choosing the function approximation algorithm and final design. Now choosing the training experience, that is the first part of it. And now there are three attributes choosing the training experience. The attribute is whether the training experience provides direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system. So here we are looking in the direct and the indirect feedback. The second attribute of the training experience is the degree to which the learner controls the sequence of examples. And that is the learner controls the sequence of examples. And the third attribute Third attribute is the training experience is how well it represents the distribution of examples of which the final system performance P must be measured. Now let's look at the first attribute is whether direct or indirect feedback. We will be covering all these three attributes in this session. The first attribute is direct and indirect feedback. So considering an example checker systems the direct training is from the database example consisting of individual checkers board states and the correct move for each. The so database example consisting of lot of examples of the checker board states and the correct move for each is the training that is being given as a direct training. Indirect training database examples consisting of more sequences and the final outcomes from the games played. So direct examples are the examples consisting indirect example indirect training is the outcomes of the games played. Now learner faces the additional problem that is credit assignment where each move is a in the sequence deserves credit or blame for the final outcome. The credit assignment can be a problem because the game can be lost even when Early moves are optimal if these followed by the poor moves. So hence the credit assignments can be a problem. Hence the direct training is easier than than form of indirect training. Now second attribute is about training the examples. The experience of experience is the degree to which the learner controls the sequence of examples. What is this controls the sequence of examples is the teacher to select the information based state and provide the correct move for each. And this is passed down to the learner. So teacher decides the information based states and provide the correct move for each and it is passed on to the learner that is teacher to a learner. And the second one is learner might itself propose a base state that is that it finds particularly confusing and ask the teacher for a correct move. This is learner to the teacher. Learner might complete the control over the both the board, board states and indirect training and finds solution to itself. Teacher is not required. The learner might choose between the experimenting with the novel base states. It is not yet considered. So learner experiments with changes. So these are the four examples of learner controls a sequence of examples. Third attributes of the training experience is how well it represents the distribution of examples over which the final system performance P must be measured. Learning is most reliable when the training examples follow a distribution similar to that of the future test examples. So, for example, in the checker learning scenario, the performance matrix P is the percent of games the system with it, which it is won in the world tournament. Now, in this case, the, the meaning of it is, uh, let's consider if the training experience is done only with the games played to itself, the problem 
is the experience is not distributed over the unexpected situation the unexpected situation like there are different checker champions with the different board state and moves so these are the unexpected situation where the champions moves a different pawns different keys in the different um, different board states so this is not prepared so that is the third part now check a learning program choosing the training experience here we have chosen the against itself is chosen so choosing the the problem we started with choosing the training experience in this case of solving checker game it is played against itself training is got against itself now class p is playing checkers performance measure p the percent of games won in the world tournament and training experience e games played against itself now designing a learning system for the checker game in the as an example the first part choosing the training experience is completed and that it training experience is done according to this example is by itself okay in the next class we will cover the choosing the representation of the target system thank you